Hey guys, I have some news. <laughs> um, so since I've been kind of involved in, in creating the Blocks token and I've been around crypto for a long time, um, I've kind of seen uh, coins come and go and I've kind of seen mistakes made and I've seen some of the corruption and some of the things that are involved in some of these cryptocurrencies. And all this while I've kind of had in the back of my mind, it'd be kind of fun to create my own with the right uh, mix, kind of avoiding all of the issues and problems that I've seen over the, you know, I've been been doing this for like 11 years or so. And so I have created a meme coin. <laughs> and it is just for fun, but I thought I would just share it with you guys because it's, it's very interesting and, you know, kind of gives you a little bit of an education on what, uh, what you know, kind of what, what makes a coin worth something and what, what isn't. So anyway, I, I will show you what um, is going on. So first of all, um, the coin is called Raincoin and it, the website is raincoin.xyz. And um, the idea behind it, uh, we just discovered this technology where um, anytime a you know, it's written into the smart contract that anytime a coin, one of these rain coins is bought, sold, or even transferred. So if I move a thousand rain coin from one wallet to another, the receiving wallet only gets 990 because 1% of all coins, all rain coins that are moved, uh, that 1% gets redistributed back to all of the holders. So the cool thing about that is that it, the gamification and the incentive uh, to buy and hold these coins is already built in. So just by having some, um, you're automatically, your balance is increasing every day. Just because if somebody moves a coin or does anything, you're getting a small percentage of whatever they, they moved. So as it becomes more popular and as it's moved around a little bit, um, then you get more. Well, you get more based on the amount you have it's weighted by your balance. <clears throat> so if you owned 10% of the coins, which would be hard to do, but um, just for an example, um, and somebody moves a thousand coins, the 10, the 10 coin that would, would be redistributed back, if you own 10% of all of the rain coin that exists, then you would get one of the coins. <laughs> so that's kind of how it breaks down. So it's just, it's just fun. So you get more coins every day, and it's, uh, you don't have to do anything complicated. You don't have to stake. You don't have to sign up for anything. All you have to do is have a wallet with some coins in it. And if you want more, uh, the bigger your balance, the, the greater percentage of the daily rewards you get. Well, this is where the technicals and where the fun part comes in. Um, keep in mind, this is sort of an experiment still. So this is not the type of thing to put you know, a thousand dollars or more in. <clears throat> this is like a hundred bucks. Let's let's see what this does. So don't don't be dumb about it. Um, it's it's just almost an experiment, and it's a, it's a lot of fun though. We've gotten um, right now. We've got quite a few people that have bought in, and just wanted to share it with you guys, just in case you care. But um, anyway, so we launched the coin, and we did something really cool. Um, instead of having an insider team a whole bunch of developers having a whole bunch of um, like a, a massive team where we've raised money with investors and done all this complicated stuff. We minted a million coins and there will be, there will never be more than 1 million rain coin and all 1 million started off in the liquidity pool. That means everybody that has a rain coin had to buy one. That makes it, there were no gimmies. There was no, there were no freebies. There were no insiders that could just, you know, receive free coins that they can just dump on whoever's head. Everybody that has coins has skin in the game. So it creates a little bit of a fairness. Um, so that is pretty unique for this coin. And then uh, when it was originally launched, because the price is low at the very, very outset, 50% um, of the coins were purchased from the open market and put into a wallet. So what happened is by, by buying 50% of the coin, it actually increased the price and stabilized it at a place where people could get in and, um, and it would just make sense. <clears throat> but this also made sure that there were no front runners because 50% was the first purchase that ever happened. These coins 
are sitting in uh, a wallet and I'll go to the, I'm gonna put all these links in there, but if you go to Polyscan and look up the uh, RAIN contract address, in fact, you can just click on this. I'll just click on this so you can see. This is the, um, the scanner. This, this is kind of the, the online uh, blockchain explorer. So that means you can, you can see all the details that were built into the contract. So the token's called RAIN, RAINCOIN, Total max supply is one million. So if you buy a, you know, if you buy, buy a rain coin, you'll own one one millionth, and nobody will be able to dilute you because they there there will not be any more uh, built ever minted because you know so it's already built in scarce, and the max supply is low so that it can be in in pennies and dollars instead of the point zero 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 whatever that all these other meme coins are. So um, but yeah, so you can see here's the here's the uh, the token contract, here's the, the coin, here's how many holders currently have it. But the if I go to holders, these are all of the different um, wallets that own Raincoin right now. And the biggest one, you can see how it's at 49%. The biggest one is called Raincoin.Polygon. And this is a wallet that um, I don't even have access to the private keys. It was set up in an automated thing that 7% that of this balance moves every night. So even if nobody's buying or selling or moving or doing anything, because I have no idea how successful this coin will be, um, this wallet is programmed to automatically move 7% every 24 hours at midnight. So this is zero UTC time. And uh, so by doing that, that means that all of these holders are getting that 1% of this balance distributed to them every single day. <laughs> so it makes it fun because you buy some and there's always action. There's always something going on. And if you want to increase the, um, the, percent, the percentage of this distribution you get every day, you just buy more. So it's already, it's already as simple as can be. The gamification is absolutely spot on. Um, it's not complicated. There's no insiders. There's no team. There's no advisors. There's nothing because it's already decentralized. All the coins that will ever exist already exist and there's a function and a purpose for each of them. So it's really cool. So if you're curious on how to um, get Raincoin, just quickly, this is um, the entire amount was put on a, a site called SushiSwap, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you go up to the top of your browser um, under the browser extensions, there is, um, you can go to like manage extensions and go to the web store and you can search for MetaMask. This is the most popular um, extension. It's this Fox one. So you'll click on this, install it. And then I like to, well, hang on, let me go back here. I like to push this pin so that I can easily see it in my toolbar up top. <clears throat> but anyway, by once you've installed MetaMask, um, you'll, you'll just set up the wallet. That means you just record the 12 words. Just follow the instructions. MetaMask has their own tutorials. But once you've got a MetaMask and it's pinned up in the upper uh, corner, um, you just click on the icon and this is what your MetaMask wallet will look like. So from here, um, the, it defaults to Ethereum. Well, Rain, because it's distributing potentially thousands of coins if, if a coin gets moved, the fees need to be super small. So we decided to not create this on Ethereum. There's a little drop down right here. And if you go down, you can select Polygon Mainnet. And if, if yours isn't showing up, you'll have to click Add Network and then you'll have to go down and find Polygon. So uh, anyway, I've selected it already and um, I can just choose Polygon mainnet. So once you're here, um, it works just like an Ethereum wallet, but what you have to do is you have to transfer some Matic in because <clears throat> you have to buy this Raincoin with Matic. Well, um, how do you get Matic? Well, you go to a Coinbase or a Mexi um, or some other exchange. If you have Ethereum already or something, you can use Change Now to do it. But Mexi.com is probably the easiest. The, the fees will be low and um, 
Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to use it. You, there's no KYC, so you can just sign up and it's pretty straightforward. But anyway, so you'll send your Matic to this address. So this address is where you'll send it. When your Matic shows up, then you can buy rain. And then um, to find the token itself, you have to click this right here, import tokens. And you'll see that we need to, you know, find the token address. Well, that's this right here. So if I copy this, this is the token address. You just paste it in right here and then it will automatically find rain. So if you've done everything right, rain will auto populate here and you click next and import and then your rain coin exists. So I've got Matic and I've got rain. To buy rain, you simply click on rain and then you do a swap. And this is, it's just, I don't know why it opened a new window, but um, I'm, I'm gonna switch wallets just so that I can actually perform a purchase because I actually haven't bought very much for myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually buy a little bit so you can kind of see how it's done. So in this wallet, I've got a little bit more Matic. I've already bought a little bit of rain, but I'm just gonna buy another like $100 just to show you the process. So I click on rain, I go to swap, uh, right now it's saying I'm going to swap rain for some random coin. And I don't want that because I'm trying to buy rain. I want to swap something else for rain. So by clicking this arrow, it switches the positions of these. And I'm going to take Matic. I'm going to swap Matic for rain. And because this is a new coin, um, it gives you a warning and it says, hey, make sure this is the right address and all of that. Uh, once we get whitelisted and, and things like that, then we'll then this will go away and it'll be much cleaner, but it's just early. That's, that's why. So anyway, you say, okay, all right. And then, um, let's see, I'm thinking maybe, yeah. So if I do about 800 Matic, that's about $583. So not, not like cr crazy amounts, but, um, that's sort of what I'm trying to do. Uh, maybe I'll go down a little bit. I'll do 700, about 500, $500, something like that. Okay, now it's it's fetching quotes. It says that I can buy about 8,000 rain for my 700 Matic. And everything looks fine. You can see that it costs six cents to do the transaction. And the transaction costs Matic. So you can't spend all of your Matic. You have to leave a little bit of extra Matic in your wallet to process the transactions. So by clicking swap, um, it will automatically transfer the rain uh, into my account just using so it automatically does it within metamask you don't have to go to any other site and do anything complicated okay so it said i was buying like eight thousand and something but i only got seven thousand nine eighty six the reason why is because one percent of those was just redistributed to all the other holders of rain that already have some so the sooner you get it the sooner you participate in the economy and the rewards uh, we're super early um, I'll just show you this really quick, and this will be the final thing. In in the um, there's a there's a website called DexTools.io, and if you put in the the contract right here, you can find the kind of the market behind this this coin, and you can see that our market cap is absolutely tiny. Um, it's very small. Most coins have a, a usually 10 million or more market cap. If our market cap was 10 million. With our, with our supply of 1 million, then that means these coins would be $10 each. So there's a lot of growth, which is, makes it fun. But like I say, don't get, don't get crazy. This is still just for fun and it's kind of an experiment. So if the coins cost is more than a dollar, that's when you kind of like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be crazy about it. Um, but anyway, uh, you can see the liquidity is here. This is how many holders we have, the volume, uh, when it was created. And one cool thing, the liquidity, so this liquidity, um, one of the things that makes these coins a little bit more um, trustworthy is this. Uh, for now, well, actually, for the next six, five years, I think we locked up the liquidity for five years. So this, this liquidity pool is locked 100%. So every coin has been locked in liquidity for 60 months. We're gonna leave it in forever, but um, 
just kind of like as a show of good faith or whatever, we locked all of the liquidity. That What that means is that uh, people can buy and sell on this market without the market disappearing on them. The market can't go anywhere. It's locked in place. So the buying and the selling and all of that will happen, you know, for sure for six years or for five years at least. And then obviously we'll just keep it going forever. But when, when, a, when a coin is new, that's one of the important things you want to do <laughs> to kind of build trust is make sure people know you're not going to pull the rug out from under them or something. So anyway, this is, uh, this is it. It's, it's just fun. We, we have daily rewards. We have, you know, the, the gamification has been built in and, um, I'm actually more excited about this than any of the other little projects that I've been working on just because it's, you know, there's there's so many cool things you can do. Like, for example, if I wanted to donate back to the back to the community or whatever, I could buy some and burn them. And then um, that increases the price for everybody for ever after. Uh, the other thing is, is if I wanted to burn coins, I can send coins to a known burn address and a burn address is an address where uh, there's no private key. So coins that get sent there are just in a black hole. They'll never move. So if there's a balance over in a black hole like that, 1% or whatever, over time, it'll slowly, that, that wallet will continue to, to suck up rain every time something moves. And so the available float will be smaller and smaller. And so anyway, it's just really cool. I, it, anyway, this is just me being all kinds of a nerd. But we put in some frequently asked questions and a white paper down at the bottom and whatever. So if you want to learn more about it, that's cool. Uh, if you want to totally ignore it, <laughs> that's totally fine too. Uh, the main thing is you want to hold on to Bitcoin and Ethereum and you want to be, you know, those are the main things. This is just for fun. So anyway, thought I'd share. All right. We'll catch you later, guys.